All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next of honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out, regardless of people here for a bear, keep pushing. A quick little lesson, man. Just a quick reminder. Remember, this is not our arrest. You got a whole lot of people getting income tax money right about now. Hey, a whole lot of our people, they, yeah, they know they're Hebrew Israelites, but now they're starting to fall back to sleep, man. You know, you have Bashmel Shine coming fast enough for them. They're they losing patience. You know, they're losing their faith. Hey, are you not watching the news? You have Bashmel Shine speeding up time, man. He's, he's making a speedy riddance of this place. So you can't fall back to sleep. Don't get comfortable here in America, man. You know, some, look, it's getting hot all of a sudden. You know, you got guys um, just um, slipping right back into that abyss, man. You know, see, uh, falling right back into the, uh, what do you call it, um, the sunken zone. Look, look, always remember that America is not our rest, man. No matter where you Israelites at, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and confusion of faces. Just always remember that this is not our rest. The Lord coming back soon coming. You got to hold on to that. That got to be your number one faith, man. You know? Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not our rest. Just like in the year 2000, when a whole lot of people thought the Lord was going to come, but then he didn't come. A whole lot of people did what? They went right back into the world. Started being musicians again, rapping, acting. A whole lot of people went right back to college because they truly didn't believe. I should have named this lesson, Do You Truly Believe? But nonetheless, this is not our rest. The Lord is coming to annihilate this place. Just like he flooded the place, it's like Noah was out on the scene for hundred and some years telling our people, get right with the God of the Bible, turn back from your wickedness. It was taking a long time, but nonetheless, didn't it come? Didn't it come? Look, 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 why did it come? Why, why did it come eventually? See, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, testing, your, testing our, all our faith right about now, man. To see if we really built to last, man, okay? Let's get this right quick, and then I'm going to come right back. This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be. They go forth out of my mouth. So when the Lord sent forth the servants, aka the prophets, his apostles, you know, his prophets, to teach this word, and they tell you that the Lord is gonna do something, it might not happen that day. But you can best believe it's getting ready to happen, man. Didn't the Lord flood the earth? Nobody didn't believe Noah, but didn't it happen? Why though? Once again, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be. That go forth out of my mouth the mouthpiece of the lord is his men it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto i sent and all you scoffers you mockers you know all you backbiters you know all you fallout boys y'all gonna get y'all reward too just hold on just hold on your, your reward is coming for talking your nonsense man, mainly you women man on the, on the social media Y'all got y'all little platform right about now But hey, the guy of the Bible is going to shut the internet down then, then who you going to talk to Then who you going to gossip to Because a whole lot of you men come in in the spirit of these women too All y'all do is gossip on the internet too About things you know nothing of But nonetheless To the elect of the nation of Israel While all this gossiping All this talking and all this nonsense is going on Remember this ain't your arrest Don't get caught up in the hype now Micah chapter 2 verse 10 one more time arise ye and depart come out of the customs of America don't get comfortable here man okay the Lord is taking too long I'm getting ready to go back to college and get my plaque get my bachelor degree well hold up that plaque when that death and destruction come you know hold up that bachelor degree when that death and destruction come okay you know the God of the Bible pronounced judgment on this wicked sinful kingdom man so don't get comfortable here and depart. It ain't telling our people to get the hell out of here physically. It's saying come out of America spiritually and mentally, man. The customs. 
You know? Stop acting like these people. You know how to act. For this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. America is not our rest. You're trying to build a crib from the ground on up. Knowing that the Lord's about to destroy this place. Knowing that everybody's testing out missiles. You know. War games. You forgot all that though, right? Earthquakes in diverse places, right? Wars, rumors of wars. Famines throughout the four corners of the earth. And it's going to hit here in America hard. The most I saving the best for the last anyway, man. For this whore, you know? That's why I don't get comfortable here. Always keep your eyes open. Watch, man. There's a whole lot going on. And if you're watching, you know not to make this place called America your rest. You know not. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you. Even with their sore destruction. Hey, look, man. And you can't make this place your rest anyway, man. You know, you're dying a slow death over here breathing the air alone. Inside the crib, outside the crib. A fast, slow death, man. Just breathing the air. Let alone drinking the water. Getting caught up in these different philosophies, these different customs. You know. Trying to be down with the Greek fraternity and all that. Throwing up these different symbols and signs. Getting different tattoos on you. This ain't your rest, man. Going out buying them little ass dogs. Trying to be like these heathens. Now, ain't nothing wrong with a little ass dog, but y'all get the point, man. Say this ain't our rest. What it say? It shall destroy you, even with their sword destruction. And the majority of our people are destroyed. They destroy for lack of knowledge. Just, just remember, Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you confused in the faces. The ones that rejected this word, yo, you're gonna be rejected in the worst way, man. When it, when it's all said and done, you're going to be rejected in the worst way, right? Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they don't have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Bible. Which is going to keep you stable. It says, um, because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. All hell getting ready to break loose. A whole lot of people getting ready to lose their jobs soon come. If you is getting some tax money, you better hold on to it. If you is getting some food stamps, you better hold on to it. They showed you that by shutting the government down for a couple of weeks. Nothing is certain here, man. Okay? Nothing is certain here, man. Okay? This place, could, the economy can crash at any time, man. That's why you got to keep your faith and your trust in your how about Shemel Shah to guide you, man. Okay? And the scriptures will tell you that. Trust in the Lord with all thine mind, all thine heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. It says, because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And once again, y'all always bring out them scriptures. You're damn right we always bring them out because it's relevant, man. It's the words of the Bible. What do you, what do you mean? You tired of hearing the words of the Bible come out? Something wrong with you. You, you must be at ease here in America. Anytime you hear a person say, y'all bring out that scripture um, the other day, or y'all bring out that scripture all the time, that's a person that you truly knows. Because actions speak louder than words, right? That person right there, that you know that they hate the words of the Bible. They despise the words of the Bible. So that's a form of them rejecting the word, right? I will also reject thee. It's going to come a time where you ain't going to have no roof over your head. You ain't going to have nothing to drink. You ain't going to have nothing to eat. You know, you ain't going to have no clothes. That's your how about Shemel Shah rejecting you for you rejecting this word. Look, look, get your gossip on in that day when you ain't got nothing to eat. Look, let's see how much you talk when you ain't had nothing to eat in about a week or two. You know, let's see if you gossiping in, man. Let's see if you backbiting in. It says, thou shalt be no priest unto me. Right? Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. You and your kids going to starve wherever you at, either in that house, outside. Because these shelters, you know what I'm saying, they're being funded by the government. It's going to get shut down. When the government really crash and the economy really crash, you're not going to be able to go to a shelter and get something to eat or get a nice bed with some cover to lay in. All that's going to be taken away from you, Israelites, because y'all real comfortable here, man. Y'all haven't made this place your rest. Y'all spoiled to death, man. Like, look, kids, don't know how to start a fire. The majority of these women don't know how to cook. 
damn sure don't know how to bathe themselves. Everybody's comfortable, don't know how to do their hair. And you men too, y'all lost in the sauce. Y'all don't know how to do a damn thing. You know? But this place is almost over. And it's a wonderful thing, man. You know. Hey, look, when the Lord do come back, and he look, and he will come back real soon. Look, the scripture say, though it tarry. Matter of fact, let me get that right quick. It would seem like it's taking a lot, the Lord a long time. It, it really ain't, though. You know? It, it really ain't. If you're a spiritual man, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. What's the vision? The prophecies, right? They come in their perspective order, right? But at the end, it shall speak. So we're at the end of this place called America. And the prophecies are speaking loud and clear. But if you make an America your rest, you won't be able to see that, right? It says, but at the end, it shall speak. You got more earthquakes in diverse places. You know, famines, more false prophets, more gossiping, more rebellion. You know, more wars, more rumors of wars. You know? More uprisings of the people. So the vision is speaking clearly, man, to the ones that are woke, to the ones that are watching. But to the ones that are asleep, of course, you're going to say ain't nothing happening because you sleep. Spiritually, you sleep, man. You dead to the fact of what's going on. And not lie. I'm going to read it again. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is, is yet. So like it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. And not lie. Though it tarry, though it seems like it's a it's taking a long time for the Lord to come and destroy this place, though it tarry, wait for it. Yeah. Bless are those that wait for the Lord, man. All right? Because look, what what else can you do? You can't do nothing. You don't you can't you don't control nothing. One thing you can't do is wait on the Lord. You have by Shemel shot. Because it will surely come. It will not tear it. The Lord said he's going to bring this place down. Don't make it your rest. It's going to happen, man. That's why, the, why you, once again, the Lord got me saying this all the time. Why do you think the Lord got us pushing all these lessons out? You think he got us pushing pushing these lessons out for nothing, man? The ones that, the ones that don't take heed to these lessons, man, you're going to get caught out there in the worst way. And look, in the worst way, man. In the worst way. You're going to get caught out there in the worst way. Ain't nobody going to be able to help you. And this is my last scripture, man. Hey, the Lord got a new kingdom coming, man. You know, a new earth. Refresh. He's going to refresh this earth, man. Okay? And rid it from all the toxins. You know what I'm saying? All the pollution. Look, we just got to wait on it. Second Peter chapter 3. We started 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, the children of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, the Native American Indians, starting off with their lack, look for new heavens and a new earth. You look up that word new in the Greek is kainos, which means refresh. It's going to be the same earth. It's just going to be refreshed. Those nukes, that fire, it's a cleansing agent. Once again, it purifies things. So when those nukes hit, it's going to clear the air of all the toxins. It's going to clean the water up. You know, it's going to get rid of you wicked people. You know, that's that's what we look for because America's not our rest, right? But but the majority of the Negroes, Latinos, the Native American Indians, they love it here, man. They love to see greedy, graffiti every damn well. You know, uh, needles, crack rock, dumb, trash everywhere, bottles everywhere, busted bottles all over the ground. Our people love that little shit everywhere you walk. You see wig pieces every damn well. Our people love that, man. Okay, hair had it hooligans everywhere. Look, long as you see that, right? People ain't thinking about a new heaven and a new earth, man. You know, they don't want the Lord to come and clean everything up, man. They love it here, man. Thoughts everywhere, homosexuals everywhere. Our people that made America their arrest, man. They got they in bed with America. They dead up under the sheets, man. They in between the sheets, like the Isley brothers said. They in between the sheets, brothers. You better come from up out of that cover, man. Because America is not our rest. Get the hell up. Spiritually. Nevertheless, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein 
dwelleth righteousness, man. Okay? We're tired of seeing all this wickedness, man. We know this place ain't our rest, man. This place been destroyed, man. Spiritually, America was never spiritual anyway, man. It was founded on rape, robbery, and murder. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace. Yeah, when the Lord come, you want to be accounted worthy to escape all the plagues and the judgment that he's bringing, right? Without spot and blameless. So, yeah, I just want to do something. Remember, this is not our rest, man. You know, Lord willing, the elect was edified. Just remember, do it, Terry. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Don't give up. Don't give up on the Lord, man. And I, and I constantly pray that. Constantly pray that. The Lord keeps his Holy Spirit within me. You brothers should too, man. Don't fall back to sleep, man. This place is out of here, man. Giving all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep the faith, keep believing. Remember, this is not our rest. Shalom.